Now, Jonesboro was one of several teams in the area to have a coaching change in the offseason. Tyler George made his debut as Golden Hurricane head coach. Rivalry night at Cooksey Johns Field as JHS renewed acquaintances with West Memphis. Pick things up in the first quarter. Keelan Mills on the read option. He's going to find a seam for a first down and much more. The Jonesboro defense responds later. Marlon Adams gets to the QB to lead a black and gold convoy, and the Canes would force a punt. Now we have some future D1 players around NEA this fall. Cincinnati commit Marquise Parker gets into the backfield for a Blue Devil tackle for a loss. Later in the first, Terrence Brown evading pressure. Myrion Taylor makes the contested catch. He'll move the chains. More defensive highlights. Parker tracks down the ball carrier for a Blue Devil stop. We were scoreless after one. Second quarter now, JHS rolls the dice on fourth down in the red zone. Brown rifles one to Taylor. He's going to fight his way close to the marker. And the folks in stripes say it's a Jonesboro first down. A few plays later, Brown finds Jordan Daniels and Daniels would not be denied. Surges to the end zone for a Golden Hurricane touchdown. The PAT was blocked, but Jonesboro takes an early 6 to nothing lead. Madden 24 came out this week. Let's just say Marlon Adams played it already. Hit stick here for the Canes. The defense forces a three and out. We're still in the second quarter when it's Brown on play action. He's going to lob one and Davion Woods makes the grab for a first down. Will Barnett extends the Jonesboro advantage. This field goal made it 9 nothing at that point. Jonesboro is our first inside the huddle of 2023. The Golden Hurricane fired up after a big touchdown drive in the second quarter.